So I'm going to put the filler down in a tight coat along the, the major impact area first. Now I'm going to add some more filler and build it up. where I'm going to go to the next size spreader. this upper area and spread more filler on the entire surface, I'm going to just continue to go with this material that's on this spreader, use it as my tight coat. Now this material here I can still work, so that, that lower portion of filler that I applied, how many minutes ago? Uh, just three minutes now. Okay, three minutes at 95, I still have good work time, so I can continue to work this filler that I applied earlier. In fact, I can add more if I want to. And this is where I'd probably go to an extra spreader. Just use a clean spreader to finish off the work. Four minutes. Just starting to run out of work time on this lower portion of filler that I added the, on the first coat. So about four minutes worth of actual work time at 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Now if I wait a little longer, I could add more filler to it. So at this point, I, I'm, I'm in pretty good shape. If I did need to add more filler, I could wait until this filler begins to gel up. And then I could just add more filler right on top of this without sanding. And, and you know that already, but that's a good technique as well. But you can see that we get a sufficient amount of work time at 95 degrees Fahrenheit 
to go ahead and spread a fairly large area of filler without running out of work time. Okay, it's been about six minutes or so and, uh, since I started applying, but I was applying filler throughout this process. Now, if I want to continue to use my nozzle, it's important to remember to continue to dispense a small amount of filler to keep this active so that it doesn't gel inside the nozzle. If it gels up, don't forget you have to replace the nozzle. So I can go ahead and apply some more filler now. About seven minutes into the process, if it looks like I need some more in some areas, I can see some, some low spots here. Looks like they need a little more help. I can put a finishing coat on this at this point. Seven and a half minutes. Okay, so at this point, I think I'm going to just wait, and I'll come back in here and sand it. Okay, it's been eight minutes since my last coat of filler when I applied that secondary coat in this area. Uh, so, from the beginning, I have about 14 minutes worth of, to 15 minutes worth of time here now from when I applied this coat earlier. So, in the 12 to 15 minute time frame, uh, we anticipate that and know that you could start to sand the filler in 12 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and start sanding up in this area and work my way down in here. Uh, you can see this is, this is hardened up quicker. I only put one coat of filler over here, didn't put a secondary coat on it. So. You can see the filler cuts very nicely. There's no loading on this abrasive. I can continue to sand the rest of this panel without having any ill effects on the, on the abrasive uh, in 12 to 15 minutes time at 95 degrees Fahrenheit.